Uh, I was down in court today. Uh, I'm still fighting this case and the police are still refusing to give over what we've asked for. This case is going on longer than more of the trials is going on. They've now asked for another three weeks. It's another and total disgrace what has taken place. Now, I actually asked, uh, could I go up to Todell to do an interview with uh, a couple of TV companies, as it happens, one from Germany and one from Japan, who are doing an interview, or sorry, a documentary on the rights to hold a peaceful protest and the right of freedom of speech. That was both denied to me. I was told I could go somewhere else and do it. Well, the whole point is having the right to have a peaceful protest and having the right to freedom of speech. That is both denied to me the day. No matter about the boys firing the AK, is it the police up there or other activities going on around the countryside, uh, my face could be enough to incite uh, trouble. It shows you how twisted society has become in this country when the, the man who has never been found guilty of an offence in his life has been banned from going up to a peaceful protest. Yeah, well, I'd been asked by a couple of... It just happens there's been a couple of TV companies on to me. Uh, they're independent companies, one's from Germany and the other's from Japan. And uh, they're doing documentaries on the right to protest. I suppose it's relating to all that's going all over the world different protests happening and the right to have free speech. The judge would not allow me to go up based on what the police said, uh, that I could incite trouble in some way or another by being there. But that's a typical example. Uh, you only have to look at the situation here at Northern Ireland at the minute. Take this case where Ivan Bell had been arrested. Now, he should have been arrested. He should have been arrested a number of years ago. But let's be truthful here. The reason Bell is arrested is because he's went again Sinn Féin IRA. He's moved away from their thinking and he's seen now as somebody who would be anti uh, Sinn Féin. That's why he was arrested. But when's Adams going to be arrested? And the other individuals who are still fully behind Sinn Féin, when are they going to be arrested? Because this whole system has become an utter and total joke. It has just got to a situation whereby it's the mafia runs the legal system in this country and the police well they don't know if they're coming or going uh, unfortunately uh, the judges have to go with what's put in front of them this man was given bail even though he has been away for what 35 38 years he's been avoided uh, been arrested and charged with this and he's given bail i think he's had long enough to consider what he has done. This man should have been kept in, co in jail until the legal case come up. Everybody and their dog knows that Adams was involved in this, but still they will make no effort to arrest that man. This OTR caper, it all fits in. The OTRs, the pensions, going against Sinn Féin. Now, uh, I believe there's been a number of arrests in the loyalist communities. But if you're going to arrest one part of the community for offences that happened over 20, 30 years ago, then we demand that they arrest Sinn Féin IRA. We demand the arrest the boys with the blood of our loved ones on their hands who's sitting in Stormont. Enough is enough. And when is our politicians going to wake it up? And just on the issue of politicians, we have elections coming up. Now, people say, who do you vote for? Uh, that's up to yourself. Things have to change in this country and use the people that can make a change by telling our politicians you are not happy with what's going on. Now there's a number of parties out there. What I'd say to people is get out and vote. But make it quite clear to the people that you're voting why you're voting. And if they don't do what you want them to do, that you will be going to some other party the next time around or you won't be voting. This is your chance in the European elections to let people know how you feel. But you have a chance here to make a difference. So I would ask you to go out and vote for whatever party you feel it will do the best for Ulster. Not for Sinn Féin IRA uh, or the political process. And see this talk about, do we want to go back to the bad old days? People need to remember that the people that had us in the bad old days are the ones that are threatening to bring us back to the bad old days. 
So the sooner our people start waking up to that fact that we will not be threatened or intimidated by these scum, because that's what they are. Our politicians need to grow a backbone and stand up to these people. I think it's now time for the vote for people that have got a backbone who will stand up. So it's up to yourselves, folks. Sinn Féin keeps saying about they're the biggest party in Ireland. Well, we have an opportunity here. I don't want to sing the praises of one party and another, but uh, we have the chance of being part of the biggest party in the United Kingdom. Something to consider.